Hey guys, so I thought that I would bring you back into my closet for old time's sake for this video. Um, let me know if you guys prefer this. I've recently just been getting a lot of people saying that they miss me being in my closet. So I thought, I'll just bring you back into my closet again. But um, anyway, I have November favorites to show you. And I'm sorry that these are a little bit late. I'm like so off schedule with my videos and what I've been wanting to get up. But the video after this will be a holiday home decor haul, which I'm super excited about. But for right now, for this video, we're going to talk November favorites. So I do have several, I feel like, more than normal lip products. The first one I'll talk about is what I'm wearing on my lips. And it is a Jordana Moisturizing Balm Twist and, Sh Twist and Shine Balm Stain. And this is in the color Cranberry Crush. And these chubby pencils are no, you know, these are not a new thing. Um, pretty much everybody has been coming out with them recently. It twists up, which I love. I prefer the twist up over, like, the ones you have to sharpen. And I think this was about $1.99 at Walgreens. Um, the reason I picked up this one was because I had gotten these as well. And these are by Revlon. These are the Color Burst Matte Balms. And they have matte and then they have luster in this little collection. And these are regularly $8.99, but I had seen on Nouveau Cheap, which is a drugstore blog. There was like a sale and then coupons, so I actually picked these up for $0.79 cents a piece, which is insane. So these are different from their um, Just Bitten Kissable Lip Balm Stains. I have one of those, and I'm not, I wasn't overly impressed with it. Um, but when I saw them release the matte colors, and I wanted to try them, and I'm so glad that I did. So the colors that I have are Unapologetic and Audacious. <laughs> or Audacious, Audacious. So basically it's like a hot pink coral and then just like a straight orange coral. These are really going to be nice for the spring and summer. But I wanted to pick them up while they were on sale. So this is the Unapologetic and then the Audacious. And I have to say, though, these are not marketed to be a balm stain. They do leave behind a very nice stain on your lips. They're very moisturizing. They're not drying, contrary to most matte lip products. And they last really long on your lips. So if you're looking for, like, a true stain, I don't know that I would rely on these to do that. But you can definitely turn them into a stain by just putting them on, blotting them a little, and then reapplying again and maybe repeat that. And it'll kind of just work the product into your lips really well and keep it there for a while. Um, but if you're going to be eating, I wouldn't expect these to really stay on your lips for long periods. The weird thing is that the Jordana ones are marketed to be a stain. And this one, as you can see on top here, is a much more sheer coverage. I have it on my lips now. And I don't find these to be as long wearing as the matte ones, which is very interesting. So... Anyway, I wanted to include these in my favorites because I have really been enjoying these. And like I said, though these are not fall wintry colors, I have kind of just been wearing them just because I wanted to try them out. And I really like them. So this is $8.99. This is $1.99. And Jordana has colors very similar to the Revlon ones. So I'm really, really in love with those. And I, I have to say I've <laughs> recently, not really recently, but more so now than ever before, I'm enjoying the... The chubby lip pencils versus like a straight traditional tube of lipstick. I just find that they're a little bit easier to apply and I don't know. I just I just feel like they wear a little bit better and I've just really been enjoying those much, much more than regular lipsticks. There's only really been one blush that I've been wearing all month long and it is the Mineralized Blush in Conjure Up. And I feel like I always include this in my favorites this time of year, um, or like blush favorites for fall winter. And I don't think this is available anymore, but I do still like to include the products that are discontinued because a lot of people can still find them at cosmetic company outlets and sometimes even eBay or websites that are legit, like all cosmetics wholesale. Um, this is just a true beautiful berry color. Um, I actually have this on my cheeks as well. And you can build it up to be a much more you know, pigmented blush. I just kind of put it on very lightly and um, just blended it really well. But literally, this has been the only blush I've been wearing, so it felt wrong to not include that in my favorites. And then the rest of my products, before I do some little home decor things, are all about moisturization. My skin and my lips have been so dry, almost to the point where it hurts. 
um, especially my face. My face has just been really, really dry, and I've still been using the Josie Marin Argon Oil, but I will say, like, on little spot breakouts that I've been having, like, I have two little spots down here on my chin, um, I've been using different products to try to dry them up and make them go away, and therefore that little patch of skin has been really, really dry, more dry than the rest of my face to the point where it's almost kind of like flaking and there's like dry cracked skin around it, which is really gross. Um, and I just feel like the argon oil wasn't doing enough. So I would put the argon oil and then this, which is my next favorite, which is the argon balm from Josie Marin. And again, I feel like I had this in my favorites this time of year, last year. Um, but it's basically just a thick version of the oil. And I originally was using this when I first got it on my legs because my legs had been really, really dry last, um, fall, winter, and even beyond that. Like, I don't know if it was just due to pregnancy or what, but my, my legs were really dry and this stuff really, really helped. And I haven't really been using it too much more on my legs. I haven't needed it, but I thought for that little patch of skin and other little dry patches on my face, this might be good. And I have really been loving it. And basically I just take a little bit and I just put it on that little patch or anywhere I have like, you know, extra dry patches on my face or anywhere on your body. And it does wonders. Like within two days, my, that little, um, area that was dry around my breakouts was back to this, this type of skin as the rest of my face. It was kind of all evened out. Um, so I wanted to let you know that I did put this on my face and I didn't have any breakouts and it did the trick. It really brought that dry patch back to normal or normal for this time of year. Um, I really, really like this and I definitely recommend everyone having like something like this in your cabinets in the bathroom or just on hand just for those like days where you have really dry skin and you can actually use this as a lip balm as well. I find that when I use it as a lip balm it has a little bit of grit to it and I don't like how it feels on my lips. Um, but you can use it. You can use it for your cuticles. You can use it on your lips. You can use it on your face, your body, anywhere. I just feel like a product like this, this that is so multi-purpose, everybody needs to have just for those like nights and days when you're just like, your skin is just desperate for some moisture. And then sticking with that is a hand cream. And this is by First Aid Beauty. It's the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Therapy Skin Protectant. And I am almost th through this entire tube. I need to get another one. Um, on Twitter a little while ago, I had tweeted out that my hands were cracked and drying and really, really painful and raw. And I had asked for recommendations. And a couple people recommended this um, hand cream. Actually, one of my subscribers who actually also makes videos on YouTube, Persian Diva 77 I think, she tweeted me and said I needed to try this. And then First Aid Beauty saw it on Twitter and sent me a message and said they'd love to send me a tube to try, which I was so grateful for. And I've been hooked ever since. And I feel like this is now a staple in my handbag. I need to pick up another one to keep it in my nightstand because I'm constantly having to like take it out of my handbag and put it up by my bed at night. Um, the coolest thing about this is that it's free of like parabens, harsh chemicals, and all the not so nice stuff for your skin. It's good for sensitive skin. And it says on, right on here, used to hydrate dry parched skin, relieve minor irritation and itching due to eczema and other conditions for the face and elsewhere really recommend this and I, I think I've seen it at Sephora and maybe beauty.com. This has been a lifesaver and I've loved having this in my handbag especially like when I'm out and about and my skin when I'm driving my hands just feel so gross. Um, this has really been helpful and it's hard. I've tried so many different hand creams in the past and I have liked them. I used to really be obsessed with the Bath and Body Works Shea Cashmere line. Um, but ever since I was pregnant, that smell, it just gets to me. And since then, like, I just, even now, my mom had it on her hands the other day, and I smelled it right away, and it just made me nauseous. Um, I just don't, I can't stand the smell. And this does not have a scent at all. So if you are someone that doesn't enjoy smelling products or is sensitive to scents if you're pregnant, um, this is really nice for that. Um... The L'Occitane hand cream is nice too, but sometimes that leaves behind a little bit of a greasy feeling. Like I said, I use this a lot sometimes when I'm driving. Um, when I'm stopped, I, I'll put this on really quick. And it doesn't get all over my steering wheel, and it's not greasy, and it doesn't get all over everything. And that's really what I like most about this. You put it on, and it sinks in, and it does the job, but it's not going to leave behind like a greasy residue feeling. Um, so I really recommend you guys try this if you are like me and just 
having really dry chapped hands. And then kind of the same scenario for my lips. Um, they've been really dry too. I ran out of my CO Bigelow Rose Salve, which was been, has been my go-to for um, like bedtime, my nighttime routine. I had seen on, I think, Guilt Group, they had uh, like a lip set from Sarah Hap, I think is the, yeah, Sarah Hap. Um, and it had a red velvet lip scrub, which anybody that knows me knows it's a minor, minor weakness, anything red velvet. So I got it, not even paying attention to what else came in the pack. I just wanted the red velvet lip scrub. And um, I've only used that a few times, which is why it's not in my favorites. But the lip moisturizer that came in it, which is called the Lip Slip, um, has been amazing. And I actually got two in the pack. So this is the one for my purse. And I also have one next to my um, bed in my nightstand. It is the most luxurious lip balm I have ever used. And I feel like I have said that about some other <laughs> lip products in the past, which I too have loved. But up until this point, I've, I've probably thought those were my holy grail. But now this is, this is taken over. And this I will never be without. Um, it is everything that I look for in a lip balm in that it's moisturizing, number one. It's not goopy, greasy, or thick, and it stays on your lips. Like, I put this on at nighttime, and I wake up in the morning, and it's still on my lips. Um, it doesn't have any kind of weird smell. Um, it's a very, very minor, minor scent. If that, It's just jam-packed with, like, jojoba oil and coconut oil and just really good-for-you ingredients. And I would be lying if I said I had heard of Sarah Hap, um... It could just be that I'm, I'm living under that rock. Again, I don't get to watch YouTube videos like I did in the past. Um, and so I had never heard of this brand. I'm assuming it's like probably sold at, I would think a brand like this is probably sold at Nordstrom or something. But I had never seen it before, so I was like, okay, I'll try it. I actually just saw this pop up in an email from J. Crew. They had like on their gift giving list, they had this lip balm, which I thought was so random for J. Crew, But, um... I don't think it's new, it's just completely new to me. It's amazing. The other cool thing about it is it leaves behind like a really glossy look on your lips. Um, I'm just gonna put it on right over. But it just, when you use it, it just instantly is like, oh, like your lips are like hurting and dry and then as soon as you put it on, it's just like, oh, it just feels so good. Um, and you get a ton of product in here, let me just see. If I can tell you exactly how much comes in it, um, 0.5 ounces. So basically they tell you to exfoliate with the um, lip scrub that I had purchased and then put this on and it says let the hydration begin. It's amazing. It's like the little pot of gold that you all need to try. It's great. And then for home decor, I have like candle -y type things. And now you guys know I'm a huge sucker for the soy candles at Target. I love Red Velvet, the pumpkin cheesecake. They recently came out with their Christmas line. If you follow me on Instagram, I put a picture of it when I saw it on an end cap a couple weeks ago. And while I did like some of those, I went around the corner and I remember one of my subscribers had told me a while ago about um, a line of candles by Nest. And I forget where you can get them, but she said that recently Target had come out with a line called Melt by Nest. It's by the same brand. And so I remembered that and I went over to those candles and found this one, which this one is Winter Pine and Evergreen. And basically it smells like a Christmas tree. We actually have a fake Christmas tree, but the one thing I really miss about having a real tree is the smell of pine in our house. So I always need to have like a pine candle and I usually just get the one from Bath and Body Works or Yankee. Um, but when I found this one, it was I was hooked. The soy candles from Target actually have one as well. I think it's, what is it called? It might even just be called pine or something, something along those lines. I smelled them both, and to be honest, I couldn't tell a difference. They both smelled exactly the same. This one from Melt is a limited edition one. They also have a pumpkin one with, like, amaretto, I think, which was amazing. I had smelled that one, too. They're both limited edition. The reason I went for this one versus the Target, the Target Soy Candle line was the packaging. <laughs> I'm a sucker for white candles. I love chic, clean, just classy looking candles, like the Jo Malone ones, like the Diptyque ones, like the Henry Bendel, like I just love white candles. I feel like they just look so fresh and nice in your home. So that was why I chose this one over the, um, 
soy candle one and it's a really pretty glass that you can just easily repurpose for your makeup brushes or whatever. You could clean this out and use it for your paper straws if you're like me and you have paper straws on your counter in your kitchen. Um, I just really liked it. I thought it was really pretty. But this smells so good. It fills up my whole house. I'd say these burn just as well as the soy candles that I love and I definitely suggest you guys smell this one next time you're in Target. I forget how much it was but I don't think it was... I don't think it was, I think maybe it was $12.99, whereas the Target ones are $10. This is just one wick. This one came in like the fancy packaging, but they did have other sizes and different shapes of candles in that same scent. So that is by Melt, and I really love it. And then my last one was quite a splurge that I got a little while ago. And this is from Jo Malone, and it's her diffuser in Pomegranate Noir. And I had posted my video a little while back raving again about the perfume. A lot of, and I mentioned I was going to maybe get the candle. A lot of people said try the diffuser. So I took your advice and I ordered this from Saks. And I love this. I was a little hesitant because I thought it's going to be overpowering and... I'll get sick of it and I love this scent so much that I didn't want to get sick of it because it's my favorite perfume I didn't want to just like not enjoy it anymore but it's honestly such a light scent it gives off a very nice scent I have it on a table in my foyer and it just it's like it hits you as soon as you walk in our front door you just it just is amazing but it doesn't fill my entire house which I'm very glad about because I do have like other candles burning in different rooms um, it's a very light scent it's not overpowering so if you are someone that is weary about this diffuser um, because of that reason I would say try it anyway because it really it's not completely overpowering but if you are a fan of her perfume like I am and you want it incorporated in your house in your home um, definitely try her diffusers and she has the diffusers in every scent that her perfume and her candles come in and I just think they're just so pretty like like I said I have it displayed on one of our tables in the foyer and it just it just looks really pretty it doubles as a piece of decor and I just think it's really pretty I like the packaging um, and I just love it so much um, I have about only I've only used about one quarter of of the amount but um Oh, it's just so good. It smells so good. So that is it for my December. December? We're not there yet. This is my November favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.